Welcome to CyberArk Privilege Cloud. In this video, we'll provide a high-level overview of the Privilege Cloud console. Let's start by logging into the console. The first page displayed is the Accounts view. This is the main page for most users. A set of predefined views allows you to display filtered lists of accounts for easy accessibility. You can also define customized views according to your own requirements and save them. The tasks that you can perform on these accounts, such as adding an account, depend on the permissions you were given. Click on an account to see its details. If dual control is applied, users must specify a reason for connecting to the account, whether they want to access it once or multiple times, and the time frame they require for access. You can see all of your connection requests and their status in My Requests. Incoming requests contain connection requests that you need to approve or deny. Accounts Discovery is a way for you to scan your organization's network for privileged accounts and provision them to Privileged Cloud automatically. You can scan devices by using Active Directory as a source or by providing a list of assets. Privileged sessions are recorded for monitoring and auditing purposes. You can also monitor live sessions. The Master Policy offers an overview of the security and compliance policy for privileged accounts in your organization. The Master Policy serves as a baseline to which you can add exceptions per device type as required. Access Control determines who can access information and from where. The Privileged Cloud Service manages access control by storing privileged identities in safes, only giving access to authorized users. Granulated permissions determine what information users can see in each safe and how they can use that information. Platforms define how privileged accounts are managed. For example, password complexity or the type of the device the account belongs to, such as Unix, Windows, domains, databases, cloud platforms such as AWS and Azure, and many more. To learn more, check out the Privileged Cloud Docs. Thanks for watching.